Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you the January 2024 Debian image for the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. So I have already done an earlier image, but um, there was no keyboard support, there was no touchpad support. Um, so you had to connect a keyboard through USB. That made things a bit more complicated because you're already using a USB port to boot. So with this new image, um, it's recommended to connect a USB adapter or USB-C hub before you boot. Um, this is a USB-A stick memory stick with the debian image and you can see here that i connected ethernet to the usb-c hub so now when we boot then i press f10 a couple of times and then you get the boot menu so I choose USB hard drive and we get the grub menu and then we have the first option Samsung Galaxy Book Go. Now what I did notice is that after the grub menu then the screen goes really dim. So I'm going to dim the light So hopefully you can see what's happening on the screen. Uh, the login is Linux and the password is change me. So here it is booted up and when we go to the file explorer there is the, I think it's 116 gigabytes volume. So in this case, if you need to type the password again. And hopefully you can see that we actually do have access to the Windows drive. Uh, it's not recommended to install Debian. Uh, I mean, like, if you really, really want to and if you really know what you're doing, then yeah, of course we can't stop you from doing it, but it's really not recommended. And I think also the developer says that it's better to keep Windows because uh, that gives you the opportunity to extract some files um, if they are needed uh, later on. So that's uh, the warning. But um, yeah, so the problem is, is that um, I don't know if it's just my machine or that it is in general, uh, the screen is really dim and it's not uh, really usable in my opinion. And yeah, the Samsung Galaxy Book Go never had a very bright screen, so that it goes even dimmer, that's not really helping. But now, the good parts, uh, as I already mentioned, the keyboard is working, the touchpad is working, and um, I have Ethernet connected to the USB-C hub. So now, if we go to the browser, so here we have the browser, So let's just say we search for WebGL Aquarium. Well, you can see that we have internet connection. Um, well, here is unfortunately another thing that, yeah, the graphics support uh, 
is not complete, so unfortunately WebGL Aquarium isn't working. But again, the good part is, is that um, you can connect to the internet. That also means that you can install packages. Um, you can uh, perhaps also download uh, some GitHub search uh, sources. Try to um, get the image in a better shape. Um, so that's exciting news. Now to show you one last thing. So, um, so WebGL Aquarium isn't working, but Crispy Doom is. So here we have the uh, files for the shareware version of Doom. So if we start Crispy Doom from that location, You can see we have Doom running. Unfortunately, audio isn't working. So, but it's uh, interesting to see that we still have some progress. And um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the developer doesn't have that much time and the Samsung Galaxy Book Go is not a really high priority for the developer. But, um, yeah, now that internet is working, uh, who knows that more people want to try this and that they can, um, yeah, see if they can install some additional software. Um, and who knows that things can really start progressing from here. So that's all that I have to show you for now. Uh, I will leave a link to the GitHub page with the Debian image in the description of the video. So that's really all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.